Jason Eichelberg with Prep Cal Track. Uh, this quartet here from Del Norte High School is going down in the history books in terms of the state of California. They are your inaugural four by 800 meter state champions. Uh, ladies, can you introduce yourselves, please? I'm Emily Russo. I'm Ella Exner. I'm Hannah Riggins. I'm Paige Exner. Like I said, this quartet going in history, they win the 4x8 for the first time. 8.55.99 is their winning time here today. Uh, ladies, if you could, what was the game plan coming into this? This is a, a new event uh, on the state meet stage. Uh, obviously, want to go out and have a great performance. What was your mindset coming into this? Um, for me, I was just trying to stay with the top pack. I knew that we, I had, a, there were a lot of girls that would, could run 215 and under for the first leg. So, what I had to do, I just had to stay with them and get close enough to help Ella out and stay with them with that pack. Yeah, and all I had to do is like um, set Hannah up for success. My coach told me, like, you know, at least two seconds away from J. Sarah if they were in front of you, which, I mean, they were, but um, last 2.50 to go, I was uh, talking those girls down and then I uh, got my, uh, myself in second. And then, yeah, then, yeah, and then my goal was just to run my own race. And, um, you know, on the first lap, I felt uh, J. Sarah on my stride. And, um, you know, I, I'm confident in my 800 speed. And just the fact that I was doubling, I just wanted to lay it all out. And also, it being my senior year, I wanted to set Paige up for success. So, yeah. yeah. Hannah definitely got a crazy lead. And uh, I knew Jenna Red's fast, but uh, I knew I could close really fast as well. And so I kind of just went off of what she gave me. And I finished that first uh, lap with energy left. And I just went as hard as I could in that last 300 meters to uh, finish this off and uh, can make us state champions. <laughs> When this race was over and you guys were state champions and obviously a great battle there, uh, just talk a little bit about the accomplishment. I mean, again, it's, this is the first time it's ever been done. This meet has gone on 103 times, and no other person can say that they were the first in this particular event except for you four ladies there. What is that sense of accomplishment like for you? It's definitely super surreal. It's, uh, it's crazy. We knew that the competition was going to be hard, but uh, we, uh, we came through, and it's definitely a crazy moment. It hasn't completely settled in yet, but yeah. Yeah, the atmosphere is unmatched, and um, I think we knew coming in, like, you know, we can we can really capitalize on this opportunity. And um, with Jay Sarah kind of knowing our game plan from Arcadia, we just wanted to, again, run our own race and be confident in all the training we put in together and how we push ourselves in practice, and it uh, fell into place. Again, uh, you guys, this is, being that it's an inaugural event, there's uh, limited time that you even run this, right? Yeah. Um, it's not something that you do every day or so. So how were you guys able to, from a practice standpoint, be able to make sure that everything worked well together and it was in sync? You know, well, we obviously, like, you, you can run 800s at, um, in regular races, so that was helpful. And then we also do, like, um, this week we did, like, 200s at, like, 800 race pace. So... You know, like doing like speed workouts are like really helpful for like this kind of race. And we ran we ran at Arcadia for the <coughs> four by eight. Yeah, I think that was a uh, that was the first time we ran our ATM, and then since then, like we knew we knew what our capabilities were, so we kind of just worked on our our own events and stuff like that. Um, in leading up to the state meet, because we I don't think we ran uh, all our we, ATM. Yeah, we hadn't run our since, ATM since Arcadia. So. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, a, a little people were a little doubtful. I think um, yeah. just going in and uh, you know we, we showed them like we we've improved since Arcadia. Yeah, so we, we knew our capabilities. Yeah, that was awesome. Now, obviously, this being the first time you're a state champion, the expectation is to come back here and to be successful again. I do know you will have to replace maybe one member of the team yes. there, uh, mm -hmm. but obviously she's laid the foundation or helped you guys lay the foundation. Definitely. How do you build off of this uh, moving forward into next year? Uh, I think our team, we have a very diverse amount of uh, runners. We are a very strong team and on our distance side. So uh, I think it's definitely going to be hard to find another 206, 800 <laughs> runner. But uh, I think we're all going to step up and we'll have other runners too that are, uh, really we'll start strong. breaking in 220. Yeah. So uh, we'll still be a strong team, but uh, it's going to be, it's going to be different without yeah. it. <laughs> Well, you guys can go ahead and celebrate being the first again. Del Norte High School, <laughs> congratulations. 855.99, they are your inaugural 4x800 meter state champions, and they claim that here at the 2023 CIF State Track and Field Championship. Ladies, congratulations. Thank you so much.